Hi everyone, um, this is Chris from the Suffolk Record Collector back again to do a video. Today I'm going to do a video on recent finds. So these are albums that I've found in the last, I don't know, month, two months, month, six weeks, something like that, um, that have made it into my collection for various reasons and whatever. Um, so let's get started. The first one I'm going to show is this album by Tash Sultana, which I picked up probably a few weeks back. Um, it's the album Terra Firma. Um, if you don't know, Tash Sultana is a Australian singer-songwriter and multi-instrumentalist. Um, this album is really, really good. It's uh, laid back. It's a, it's a laid back sort of album. Um, very, very good. I think she's credited on here as playing all the instruments herself. So this is a, a really good album. And it's on Lonely Lands Records on this nice yellow vinyl. Um, and it's a nice yellow vinyl on Lonely Lands Records. And it's a limited edition like an indie release limited edition that was released in 2021 um, comes with a lovely poster as well of the album cover you see that and on the back it has the lyrics to the songs this is a double album a really good really good listen i love listening to this late at night when I'm relaxing and uh, really really good highly recommended highly recommend to find highly recommended so that's that was a new record I've got another new record here um, that I picked up which is a bit strange for me because I don't really like picture discs but uh, this is a picture disc of Uriah Heap's first album very heavy very humble The reason I picked this up is because this is an iconic album, um, and it's it's in, it's a favourite album of mine. Um, always will be. So that's the reason I got it. And also, I wanted to find out what these picture discs actually sounded like. These more modern picture discs. Well, the sound of them on here is good. It's good. Um, better than picture discs I've had from the eighties before, which I don't have anymore. Um, they sounded bloody awful. The sound of this is good, but there's still a high surface noise on here. So when you drop the needle, you think, oh, that's, that's not too bad. As soon as that needle tracks across to where the actual picture did start, there's an underlying roar, um, which you can't normally hear, but you can in some of the softer tracks, especially on, on here, like on Come Away Melinda. Um, you can definitely hear the, the roar in the background, which is a bit off-putting. But um, yeah, it's a lovely thing. Um, and that that was that one. And next is uh, another new album. This is actually a new album. This is uh, the new album from Saxon. Carp DM. What a cracking album this is. This is a really, really, really good album. This is, um, in my opinion, Saxon back to their best. I rate this very highly, as high as some of their early, much earlier, from the late 70s, early 80s records. See that. And it's on. Uh, what record label is this on? Uh, Silver Lining Records. Highly recommended. Good, good album. Love, love it. Very, very good. Right, so that's the new records. Well, they were all new records that I bought um, from record shops. Um, the next one, next load on here are all 
like uh, second hand vinyl, vintage vinyl that I've found out in the bag. So, next off, we've got Neil Young Decade. Now, I've shown this before, in a, not this in a video before, but I've got a, a Japanese pressing of this album. Um, this one is the 2017 Record Store Day limited edition to 5,000. Um, and that's in mint condition, and this was cheap, this was not expensive. Um, that's, that's exactly the same as the original edition and the Japanese edition that I have. But the, the difference is, this comes with, if I can find them, yeah, there. What all the other editions don't come with is these two um, lithographs. So you get these lithographs by Henry Diltz of New Year. And also, the same quality of this album is very high. It is amazing. It really, really does sound good. Um, equally as good as the Japanese pressing I've got, or possibly even better, but I haven't decided yet whether it's a better sounding record. But it it sounds good. And it's such an iconic album anyway. Um, highly recommended. Um, and like I say, this wasn't expensive at all. I think I paid 20 quid for this, 25 quid for this, which is not a lot, not a lot at all, such a as album in such great condition. Um, like I say, it's the 2017 uh, Record Store Day edition. Next is Digging Through Crates. I come across this. I didn't have it, so I definitely bought it. It's Bandolia by Budgie. This is in mint condition. Um, on MCA Records. First UK pressing. You can see that, but that is really mint condition. Don't look like it has ever been played. Brilliant album. Um, four runners of heavy metal. Obviously this one came out in 75. Um, four, well, let's say four runners of heavy metal. Um, this isn't as heavy as some of their albums, but uh, it's very good. Highly recommended, and I'm I'm chuffed to bits to have a first pressing of this. Um, really, really, really good. Next, we have now. I love Japan, Japanese press albums, and I'll always buy them if there's something, someone I like and that, uh, at the right price. And this was cheap and I, I couldn't resist it. And that's in mint condition. That's uh, Japanese, original 78 Japanese pressing, Bob Dylan, Live at Budokan. Great album, great concert. Um, this is the first Japanese pressing. Really, really, really chuffed to find this. Um, and it's on CBS Records, CBS Sony, Red Label, double album of course, um, iconic album, uh, I really like it, um, and that sounds really really good on here, that comes with a booklet, 16 page booklet, uh, let's see, it's in Japanese and in English, and it's got all the lyrics to the songs in Japanese and English. Um, so that came with that, and I think there was a poster, it comes with a poster as well, which is all cool. So this is all complete. The only thing missing is. There was no Obi strip, so it comes with the huge poster of Dylan. But like I say, there was no Obi strip, um, and this was cheap. 
and it, it, again this in mint condition doesn't look like it's ever been played so really really chuffed to find to find that and that goes in with my my collection of japanese pressings the reason i like japanese pressings again i'll say that that high quality the the uh vinyl is of high quality um, they're not always the best sounding but usually they're very very good they've always got high quality jackets lots of inserts so the, the quality is just brilliant on them so next off we've got now i picked this up in a record store actually second hand in the second hand section of a record store and that's a reissue of volunteers with just an airplane see that I didn't have this, so I picked it up. And this was not expensive. Um, when I got home and done my uh, research, like I normally do, find out what pressing it is and whatever, um, I'll come up with the conclusion this is the 2017 Speaker's Corner Audio File Edition. Um, because of the, the, the quality of the uh, sleeve, the laminated sleeve is amazing. It comes with this insert. You can see that, and on the other side, it has uh, the lyrics. So it's a lyric sheet. Um, so this was a really good find. Um, it's on RCA. I say I've come up with a conclusion that this is the speaker's corner edition, but um, I'm not 100% sure because the matrix numbers don't 100% match. They're very close, but they don't match, and they don't match anything else um, that I've found on Discogs for the matrix numbers. So this is the nearest I could narrow it down to, so it's probably a variation, but um, the speaker's corner edition. But uh, it sounds very, very good. Yeah, and it's on heavyweight vinyl, so I suspect that that is that edition. Next up, I have a soundtrack. This again, I picked up second hand from a shop, uh, and that's the soundtrack to Quentin Tarantino's movie The Hateful Eight, um, music uh, by Ennio Morricone. Um, I've played this a few times and it's now starting to grow on me but it's not, I don't think, one of my most favourite soundtracks at the moment. It may turn out to be a great um, and it's on Decca the Decca label. Like I say, it may turn out to be, be great. I've listened to it a few times and yeah, it's good. It, like anything by Morricone is, is good. But I don't think that it will come into one of my favourite um, scores. But look, look, time will tell. We'll have to wait and see. But it is very good. Um, well worth listening to. I'll say that, that, that was cheap as well. None of these records uh, have been expensive. Uh, ah, and lastly, I picked this up a couple of weeks ago. And I was just so, so chuffed to find this. Um, Never seen it out in the wild. First time I've seen it out in the wild. It's an album I first heard in the 80s, early 80s. When I used to go around friends. Um, we play all sorts of records and different stuff, prog and all sorts of lazy stuff. Um, and this used to be played. Um, and it stuck with me, but forget forgot about it over the years. A couple of weeks ago I was out searching. And I come across it and I couldn't turn it down. Um, and that is... Seasons by Magna Car. This is a beautiful album. It's a really good listen. Always makes me smile. Now, I'm so, so pleased to have found it. But not only that, it's a UK first issue on Vertigo Swell label. Um, I'll just show you. And it's, in, and it's in mint condition, near mint condition. From 1970, 
so so chuffed to find this um, really good album um, the debate is I suppose is this a folk album or is this a prog album I don't think they're either I think they're somewhere fall somewhere in between because it has elements of folk but don't really go down the folk traditional folk line and it also has elements of um, prog but they certainly don't go down the prog line because the first track on here is on side A is the whole of side A but it's split up into uh, sections for spring the prologue spring summer autumn and winter um, oh, this is a beautiful album uh, if you don't know it or anything I highly recommend it um, go and stream it because you'll love it it is that it's a it's a feel good album whenever I put this on it makes me smile very very good anyway that's all I've got to show for this Pines video there'll be more Pines videos coming because um, any albums I find I shall wait till I've got half a dozen or so and do a video um, always well all comments are always welcome down below please comment on anything you want to at all um, that's it for this time round thank you very much speak to you all soon